So I already know that there's going to be people who see the title of my video and don't even watch my video. They just click on my video, go straight to the comment section and be like, Your country's not doing any better. Why are you staying somewhere that you don't even like? If you don't like Korea, get your fat ass up out of there. My open on one of y'all's anyway. Please, don't write any stupid comments. Please just watch my video first. And then, at the end, if you have any critiques, then leave it. Because if you don't watch my video, I'm going to eat you alive in the comment section, okay? Alright. Hi you guys, it's Natalie here, back again. And I am bringing you a talking video. Now, this topic... I kind of pushed off for a while because I knew I was gonna get I'm, I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for it um, because there's some people that are just die hard about Korea and any negative thing that you have to say about it it's like uh uh, -uh. okay but I live here it's not like I am romanticizing life here and and you know I'm watching these k-dramas and k-pop and this and that and it's perfect and my life is just magical and no it ain't like that okay because I'm actually living life okay life has its ups and downs you know it wouldn't be realistic if I didn't air out things that I don't like. So if you want to know some things that I don't particularly like about Korea, then stay tuned. The first thing that has really proved to be something that I dislike um, is the hierarchy system, meaning that age and status is above everything. It may not sound bad on your side um, because it's like well duh you should give respect to your elders one thing that really gets me especially at work is this hierarchy I can't step above my level when I even if I just need to speak about something there's always a system that needs to it needs to go through so if I have a question or if I want something to get approved for something I have to first talk to my co-teacher. My co-teacher will then talk to my head teacher. My head teacher will then talk to my vice principal and then the vice principal will then talk to the principal. And then it comes back the same way. If you have a chance to come to Korea, you probably will experience one or two ajumas or ajushis pushing you or just cutting in front of you um, without saying nothing. And it's disrespectful for you to be like, uh, Excuse me, I've been standing here for five minutes, okay? You could go back there. You just have to take it. Many of them will cut in front of you because they have uh, seniority or they'll just push you out their way because they have seniority and you really can't back go back against their word because of that hierarchy. So that's one thing that is like, yeah, it's not my favorite. So another thing that I really don't like about Korea is the unison conformity. Um, and I primarily see it with fashion styles. If there is something that is fashionable in Korea, every single person has it. I can tell you that this winter season, what is in style are these long ankle length, oversized parka coats. I don't even know when it happened. I don't know who sent out the, the, the telegram for to let everybody know that this is what is in for the winter. I'm not saying that like it ain't smart because it's cold as hell in Korea. It's freezing. So it is a smart move, but dang, does everybody have to have it? Like, can we get some like diversity? Are there some different kind of jacket styles? Everybody got the same thing. Same thing with the hair. If there's a haircut or a hair color in fashion right now, what's the trend? Are these ashy, pastel color toned? If you walk in Seoul, that's what, all you, what you'll see. Okay, so you'll know what's in fashion because everybody got it. All right, so another thing that I'm not particularly too crazy about in Korea is the focus on image. Image is everything. Saving face is everything. This is your career. If you apply to Korea to be an English teacher, you'll experience this. Every person in Korea that is getting a job in Korea experiences this. You need to have 
a photo on your application. Now even within Korea, Koreans judge each other so strongly based off of their of how they look. Double eyelids. I can't tell you how many students come up to me and they're just like, Teacher, your eyes, they're so pretty. Oh, really? Thank you. My eyes? They're double, double eyelids. Oh, so beautiful. <gasps> My eyes are so small. Your eyes are small? I think your eyes are beautiful. Why? Do you need big eyes? Because big eyes are beautiful, teacher. I mean, that is a conversation that I'm having with a lot of my students and I just don't get it. I was never really complimented on the fact that I have double eyelids, which I didn't even think that was like a thing. But here, that is a level of beauty. What I'm getting into is that plastic surgery is normalized. Plastic surgery, facial plastic surgery is normalized from a very young age and it's almost seen as like a rise in status. You have better opportunities if your eyes look like this. Parents give this surgery as a gift to their children as a graduation present. I have some students that already gone through the process and they're in middle school. So again, I know that it's not only Korea but Living in Korea where I work with students that think so negatively of their body that they're already thinking about what kind of plastic surgery they should be getting within the next 10 years, it's a little sad. So that's one thing I don't like. Korea still has racism, colorism going on in the country. And I say racism because yes, there are racism, there is racism against foreigners that are here um, but then again I also say colorism because even amongst themselves they comment on the color and the darkness of your skin I had a student tell me that his mother told him to not stand in the Sun too long because he was getting dark if you go into any beauty store any skincare store here in Korea one of the things that you will see are these brightening whitening creams for example I went to the blogger brunch not too long ago and this is one of these are some of the products that I got. So the first one you can see Galactomyces Galactomyces whitening power essence. So again, there goes that whitening word again. Here's another one. Here's another one I got. It's real whitening. Uh, you have the day and the night cream. The night is supposed to help you lighten at night and then the day, let me show you what the day looks like. It is just snow white. And this is, and this is rubbed in, okay? This is what people are wearing. Okay. So. Colorism. I am from the beautiful city of Orlando, Florida. And all of my life I had sunshine and hot weather and beaches and loveliness. So much vitamin C. Consistently. And then I come to a country that is ridden with smog. I live where the air I breathe is dangerous to my health. I have to look at my phone and see if I need to wear my mask today, today or not. I have allergies from smog and that is not what's up. If I don't clean my windowsill for one or two months, it is black. Korea is a patriarchal society, meaning that men overall have more control or more power in this society. Not saying that that is not true anywhere else because Lord knows it is. But there is still a traditional mindset amongst especially the older generation. I'm talking about like from 40 and up. Maybe maybe 35 and up. Um, for example, I had a really bad experience with a hostel and I wanted to get my money back um, however, I didn't speak Korean, um, so I asked my co-teacher to call the manager to sit to work out the situation. So she called the manager and was talking to them and was trying to be, you know, strong, but he would not listen to her. He would not take her seriously and ended up ending the call short on her. So she let me know that a man had to talk to him. A man because he actually would respect a man more speaking to him in the same tone that she spoke to him about getting my money back. So we had to find another male teacher in this school and explain to him the entire situation. And then that, that male teacher had to call the hostel and 
actually get my money back because that was the only way that he was going to do it because he was not listening to my co-teacher. That was one thing that kind of made me look at Korea sideways. Korea is a country that minds their own business and it's not all bad. You know, it's always great to mind your own business. You don't want to be in people's business, but there's a lack of looking out for one another, looking out for people you don't know. Um, that When I came back to the United States, and I want to make a completely different video about this, um, but when I came back to the United States, that's one thing, one of the first things that I noticed is that people are looking out for you. People you don't even know are looking out for you. I saw, saw a woman faint on the train. I had friends see people fall flat out on their butt. I've, seen, I, I've had friends seen people run down the street screaming bloody murder, and not one person stepped up to ask are you okay like what's going on can I help you maybe it's just the American mindset because we are always in somebody else's business sometimes it can feel very unsafe because nobody's looking out for you it's usually not until somebody else steps in when everything changes or some time passes and they and people realize okay this is going on kind of long let's let's do something about that one specific example that I'm going to think about is something that I saw directly I'm not gonna get into too many details because I want to do this in a completely different video but I had seen a domestic altercation occurring right in front of me the street was packed with restaurants of people eating outside having a t the time and seeing this altercation happen and not one person called the police. Not one person stood up and said, stop hitting this woman. Not one person did anything. The only people that stopped and helped and tried to make sure everything was okay was me and my friend who are both foreigners. Anyways, I know a lot of this has to do with culture and like I said, it comes with living in another country. So you have to accept what comes with it. It doesn't mean that I have to love it. Okay, it doesn't it, it just means that I just don't particularly like it. Now I'm not saying that my own country is perfect because I can make the same video about America right now and you best believe there's a lot a longer list than what I just listed here for Korea, okay? This is the list of things that I don't particularly like. I did not say hate hate is a strong word. If you are living in Korea, I want to know, do you agree with this list? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next video. Bye!